Welcome back to Washed Up. I'm Kala. I'm Steven. And we're dropping a bombshell, I guess, today, huh? Yeah, well, I guess it's already been dropped. It's already been dropped, but this is going to be the first podcast we've done we... since the announcement was made. Yeah. It's exciting. <gasps> it's nerve-wracking, but it's really, really exciting. It's something that we've been working on, hell, for, for a, a year plus now. And if you have not heard or have not seen any commercials or us posting about it, We've got a reality show coming out. Yep. Brand Another new one. reality show. <laughs> <laughs> we never thought we'd say that again. No. Honestly. No, we did not. And this one, I actually, it's going to be a lot more fun for us because oh, yeah. it's our life. Yep. This one is completely different than the first reality show we did. Obviously, we were both on a dating show. And so in that kind of atmosphere, it's not like your real life. You don't have your phone. You're not around people. You're not you around know. your family. Like it's Everything completely is very isolated. Very controlled. Yes, it's very isolated. This was polar opposite. Like yeah. everywhere we went, the cameras were just there behind us, and other than that, it was just our life. Yep, our real life. For good or bad, better or I worse. I know. I'm a little <laughs> nervous. To I'm always like weird about watching myself back as it is, but whew, there was some spicy moments. There's this a lot season. of drama. Y'all would be shocked to know what <laughs> takes place on a farm. Um, Especially with our family dynamic, our, uh, you know, our farming operation is already big and we have a lot of different businesses that fall under our umbrella of the McBee portfolio. But beyond that, the personal lives that we have, they're all pretty much train wrecks. Yeah, which makes for great reality TV. <laughs> so and We didn't hide anything like we were whenever we uh, cut the deal and signed on to do this, we basically said, hey, we're going to give you everything we've got you're gonna see a hundred percent of our life what we do day to day all of the shit and drama that comes with it yeah. y'all are more than welcome <laughs> to film it all the producers were very very pleased they didn't have to create any scenarios they didn't have to set anything up like no y'all y'all really made it easy we we all made it very easy for them to get some good tv out of it i think they were shocked i think going into it they, they had thought no idea. they thought it was going to be a simple farming operation yep. almost like a documentary of just a farming operation yeah and it quickly snowballed they didn't know what they were in for. into something way more than what they thought <laughs> it, again in the first I'm so excited to watch it like <laughs> nervous but very excited it's gonna be good it's gonna be fun it's gonna follow obviously our relationship yeah your brother my brothers my dad my dad's a character my dad is the most <laughs> extroverted person you will ever meet in your life mm -hmm. and he, he is. is just a crazy crazy character personality yeah social butterfly i don't know how to explain steve steve doesn't like <laughs> For, for most people, they'll go out, like, once, twice a week. Like, they'll hit their social limit, at least for most people that I know. Mm -hmm. Steve can go out every single night of the week, chat with anybody he meets, he create a, friends anywhere. Like, he gets energized by being I was going to say, he's people. a true extrovert. He's a true extrovert, Like, most yes. people, including myself, and I know you, our battery drains. Yeah. Our energy battery drains the more we're out around people. Like, if we just get exhausted, we're like, hey, all right. It's time to call it night. Okay. Yep. My dad's exactly. the opposite. His battery recharges with the more people that he talks to. So mm -hmm. he could be out at a bar, at a restaurant, and the more he's talking to people, the more he gets going and the yep. more he's energized and ready to roll. Like, I feel like my schedule, going to bed early, waking up early, is a 55, 60 year old man schedule. And my dad lives the 20 year old schedule life of staying out all night long, but he's up. He does not get tired, is no. the thing. He is still up at the butt crack of dawn. Yeah, still get, working. Yeah, going to work. After, yeah. You would never know that he was out the night before. No, would have no idea. <laughs> it doesn't infer with his life whatsoever. Interfere. I can't, I'm honestly, I, I don't even know what to think. It's coming mm -mm. out soon. Whenever this episode drops, it will be airing next week. The fall, next Monday. Oh, it will. Yeah. We're a week we away from week it airing. away. I don't even know what I just said. We have a week away. We have a week away. <laughs> we have a week away, guys. You're excited, though. I am. I'm really excited. I think When it's... did this all come into fruition? Because I knew that y'all had been discussing it for a while, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, my farming operation or our farming operation, being the size that it is, we already get a bunch of attention. And then... Uh, it's huge. It's it's big. It's a large family-owned operation, and the drama that comes with farming, like, y'all would be so shocked to know what a modern-day farming and ranching operation looks like and how hard it is and how many elements we're up against. 
that in and of itself is a TV show, regardless of the personal relationships. Mm -hmm. So nonstop, I was getting hit up by production companies that wanted to do a show about the farm and ranch side. And it was really just trying to find a production company and a network that believed in us and believed in what we wanted to put out there, which is basically, uh, you know, not to sound too cliche, but it's a real life Yellowstone minus the murders. <laughs> But if yeah, you think about there's it, no murders going on. Yeah, there's here. No, yeah, no murders, no no uh, criminal activity. But from a uh, drama perspective, from a pressure and stress in everything that takes place I on the farm, I would say it's very comparable for oh, sure. It's insane. We say every single day on the farm, we wake up every day knowing there's a fight coming. We don't know where it's coming from, what direction it's going to hit us from, but we know it's coming. So we put on our boxing gloves every single morning when we wake up and walk out the door. Like, that is what farming is. It's true. I'm sorry. It's true. Think about how true. many elements we're so up against. It is so dramatic. <laughs> I wake up every day, no, and I'm like, he's, he's what right. the fuck is going to happen Ooh. today? No, and then I know. what happens at 7 a.m. every single day I wake up? You have so much shit to deal with. Like, by 7 a.m., there's three different fires, three different crises I have to put out. Yeah. Most of the time, I'm venting to you. Yeah, so put on your boxing gloves. I mean, do like put on your boxing gloves and get after it. I know. No, I will say whenever I'm getting ready for work in the morning, you've already dealt with like three different issues and you're already like level 100 stress. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's great. Yeah. And now we're going to do a show over it. Yeah. But we filmed this thing basically a year over ago. last summer. Actually, yeah, no, last we started spring. in April last and we spring. shot through July. Yep. So, so spring of 23 through July. Yeah. Yep. And there's just so many so different things. So this was things. all six months ago. A little longer than that. I cannot believe it's been that long already, though. Remember? It feels like the blink of an eye. Yeah. And so what? We filmed for three, four months. Mm -hmm. And then they came back occasionally to... Pick up if, bits and pieces yeah. of interviews and whatnot. But yeah, for the most part, it was filmed during spring planting season mm -hmm. all the way through our uh end of the year planning party and our corn star award mm -hmm. so it was all of these different things that were taking place and spring planting season on the farm is just insane and you add on top of that what do we have a couple car wash openings uh, obviously our personal lives that are insane already i mm -hmm. mean it is just like a it really does make for of a drama great. <laughs> <laughs> TV without even trying though because it is just following y'all's real life like nothing was created nothing was no. fabricated no in our early meetings with the production company we were actually sitting there talking they're like hey if things are a little boring or a little stagnant you know we'll stir up some drama we'll make some okay. storylines that'll sure. be more engaging for the audience and I think it was we were <laughs> a week and a half into filming yeah and they were like hey guys like you can I, you can tone it down a little bit. And we're like, no, th this no, like this is real. This is what we do. And That's like, why I said earlier, the producers must have been very pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised, or just or absolutely horrified. Horrified. <laughs> they probably had way too much to choose from. Actually, <laughs> like, what should we include? What should we not include? It's a it's an interesting feeling knowing that our personal lives are about to be broadcasted to millions of viewers. Mm -hmm. it, I, I don't even know how to describe it, honestly. Obviously, well, it Joe Millionaire. Feel real. No, it doesn't. And, and Joe Millionaire did a little bit, but it was such a weird, controlled environment. It wasn't like opening up the door to our lives and everything that goes on. In, it's not what in people it. would think. Like, people would think that it's like, oh, I'm on TV. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so cool. Like, that's how you would think somebody would think mm -hmm. about it, right? But, like, whenever it happened to us, we were like, oh. Like, I didn't even watch all the episodes to Joe Millionaire. No. Because it, it was just weird watching myself back, mm -hmm. almost. Yeah, it's... Uh, like, it, it's not this huge... And then, like, whenever people would come up and say hi to us and want to meet us and take pictures, I always felt like, this is so weird. Like, I'm really not that cool. Well, we have zero <laughs> talent whatsoever. We don't have any talent, but, like, yeah, it just doesn't hit you the way you think it would. No, it doesn't. And I think this one, yeah, I mean... Definitely more nervous for this one to air again, just because it it takes place where I live it's with my family, family yeah. with all of the personal crap that we go through, and it's not all. Not to quote a Maroon Five song, it's not always rainbows and butterflies. You know, 
I'd hate that you just did that. <laughs> it, but it's not. It's not I, always rainbows and butterflies I, at the farm. I can't. <laughs> it's a good song. Okay. <laughs> but it's not. It's there's so many freaking Are you things. Pull out we your do guitar with. right now too. <laughs> no, I got my boxing gloves on still. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. You're making it too easy today. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> It's not all rainbows it's, and butterflies. No, it's not. It's stressful. Babe, we get it. It's stressful. Like, it's going to be... I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown on any given day. Some days I'm past it. Mm-hmm. Some days I we're both in the mental breakdown boat together. I hear that. Mm-hmm. And that boat's taking on water. Mm-hmm. It's sinking quick, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Still alive, but I'm barely breathing. <laughs> yeah, who's the one singing now? That's your theme song. <laughs> barely holding on. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. I let. Go ahead. I was gonna say, let me get a word in. Mm-hmm. Um, but as we we were just talked about this, the show was over spring summer last year. I did not live here yet, so I was flying up every single weekend from April to July. Mm -hmm. And then in July is whenever I ended up moving here. But that was a lot. They would pick me up from the airport, get me mic'd up. And (laughs) like, as soon as I landed, I would be filming. Yeah. Oh yeah, we couldn't, uh, like you and I could not talk or see each other. You would get mic'd up in the airport. Mm -hmm. And I had to sit in the cell phone lot waiting until you were mic'd up and ready. And then- Every single interaction we had, like, there was nothing we hid. Like, we wouldn't see each other all week, and then we would meet up at the airport, and it was already being filmed. So we were like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Whatever yeah. we say, it's going to be filmed. Oh, well. We were mic'd up 24-7. That was a crazy we time to, to think about. It was. We went to bed with cameras on us. We woke up yeah. with cameras on us. And Joe Millionaire, <laughs> Joe Millionaire wasn't like that. Like, it was a very controlled scenes like oh you guys would see each other at this time that you guys would see each other you know i just going on a date i hope they put this in the episodes i honestly we haven't seen them yet we're gonna watch them here this week right before they air but we have not seen them um there was a camera that was mounted on my lower barn that was facing my driveway and kind of the front yard where the sun comes up and everything and whenever it's nice weather Calla, whenever she's staying at the farm, will go out in the front yard and meditate completely topless or just take the dogs out there completely this. topless as the sun's coming up. And there's a camera mounted filming my I front didn't yard. Know. I did not know that you did I not told, tell me that. I did tell you, but you forgot. No, you did not. There's like three outside cameras set up at his house and his house is way I'm I guess five we miles we from my nearest neighbor. Yeah, it's not like in a neighborhood. It. We shouldn't talk yeah. about that that much. Yeah. But yeah, there was cameras outside. I hope and they air that. Please let them air you going out I topless will die. with the dogs. I would just go walk the dogs down the road, a mile down the road, just completely topless, <laughs> not think anything of it. And then one time when I was walking back is when I saw the cameras. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, there's no way. And I thought it was your security camera. Nope. nope. So I'm... <laughs> Fingers crossed that makes the, uh, makes the I cut. I will die. It was not intentional, but it is kind of funny. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's embarrassing. There it's fine. and during spring planting season, it's just a madhouse at the farm. Mm-hmm. Like, an absolute madhouse. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything that took place last year. I know. I'm excited to see it air, to relive it all. Some of the things, yeah. not so much some of the others. Um, but it's gonna be. <sighs> we're excited. I think. I think we're more excited than nervous. But it'll be, it'll just be a fun time. Like, this is so crazy that we're able to do this again and yeah. be on. Yeah, we're very, very blessed show. with the opportunity. I yeah. mean, to be able to showcase our lives to all the viewers is really unique. Uh, this I has hope... been two years in the works now. Like, yeah, y'all had been... your first conversation, I wanna say, in 2021. Like, a couple, probably. We've been a working year on this show. After Joe Millie, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it was a year after the the air date of Joe Millie. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there was multiple production companies that had reached out wanting to do a farm show, and it was just trying to find what we thought was going to be the most authentic way to showcase our lives. Mm-hmm. And I think the production company and the networks uh, that this will be airing on, or, you know, really it's NBC, is the big overall umbrella network. 
they allowed us to be us, yeah, which is so important. And that was something we absolutely refused to sign on with any network that wouldn't let us be who we are. Yeah. We didn't want to hide so anything. They're so fun to work with. They're so too. fun to work with. Like it was, it was honestly a really, really cool experience. It was for a someone, great experience for someone intruding on your life twenty four seven. It could be really, really bad. And because of the production company that we had and the network that we had, I enjoyed it. I did too. I really did enjoy filming. And everybody, like I said before, was so fun and great to work with. Mm -hmm. So personable. Yeah, the entire production crew. Yeah. Loved them all. I, I mean, know. they were so cool. I miss it. Yeah. Come so back. we'll uh we'll see how things shape out. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys know that first and foremost, like everything you're seeing on air, there is none of that that is fake. We were a hundred percent authentic a hundred percent of the time, and every single thing we showcase, every single emotion, feeling good or bad was how we really felt. Well, we're saying this now before we've watched the episode, so <laughs> I hope that he doesn't come back in a week or two saying, oh, wait. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's fine. There were some nights out at the bars where I think I definitely... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, nope, we're not going to get into stuff. Yeah, we can't talk about it yep, yet. Not going to talk about stuff. But after the show comes out, maybe we should... Do like an episode recap or something. and do like a little recap, yeah, behind like the that. scenes. That'd be fun. Yeah. But right. anyway, that well, was our big announcement. We're so excited about it. If you guys haven't seen the commercials yet, it will be all 10 episodes will be dropped on Peacock on March 11th, which yep. is Monday. A week from today. Yeah, it's Monday. Yep. And then it'll be airing on USA Network right after Monday Night Raw every Monday night. Bravo. Bravo and E. I don't Woo. know what times. Um, Not sure what times. Yeah. But Peacock, they're dropping all 10 episodes next Monday. So if y'all want to binge watch it, Feel free to. Um, we still have not seen the episode, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it'll be fun to watch back. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. like this episode, share it with your friends, comment. Yeah, come back here as we go throughout the season. We'll go episode by episode and recap what we were feeling, what we were thinking at the time, why we did what we did. I hope I don't Most have to explain myself on here very much. <laughs> I guess we'll find it'll out. It'll be fine. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. See thank ya. you all so much.